What food should you be eating if you have chronic kidney disease? I'm Michelle Krosmer. I'm a registered dietitian and a certified specialist in renal nutrition, and this is Plant-Based Kidneys Kitchen. I'm going to walk you through the top kidney healthy foods that you should be eating. If you have kidney disease, you're likely confused by the contradicting food list that you find on the internet or get from your doctor. The truth is a healthy renal diet should be individualized. People with kidney disease have different health history. They have different labs, different stages of kidney disease. They're on different medications and they have different nutrient needs. So while these aren't the only foods that you should be eating, these are foods that are kidney protective. So let's start with number one, non-starchy vegetables. You should be filling up half your plate with these. Non-starchy vegetables are pretty much all vegetables besides the starchy ones. The starchy ones are things like potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, and peas. And it's not that you can't eat the starchy ones, but they shouldn't be making up half of your plate. And while everyone with kidney disease has different potassium needs, some universally great options that are low to moderate in potassium are arugula, asparagus, bell pepper, broccoli, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, celery, cucumber, collard greens, green beans, jicama, kale, spaghetti squash, snow peas, and sugar snap peas. I think I did that all in alphabetical order. Uh, Number two foods that you want to be eating to protect your kidneys are fruit. Just like veggies, fruit are going to be negative prow or potential renal acid load. So this means they're more alkaline producing. Uh, They help you get more vitamin C, more fiber, and other antioxidants and nutrients in the diet. Many people with kidney disease have high blood sugar, and they may need to limit the portion of the fruit that they consume and pair it with a healthy fat or a protein to help slow that digestion and how quickly the carbohydrate turns to sugar. Um, But overall, some universally higher fiber, low to moderate potassium fruits are your berries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, um, other fruits like apples, cranberries, pears, pineapple. Those are all really great options for fruit. Number three food to be eating is plant protein. And when I say plant protein, I mean whole, minimally processed plant protein. It is easier on the kidneys and some top low to, pota- low to moderate potassium options are legumes. So certain leg- legumes like chickpeas, green peas, black eyed peas, red lentils, peruano or Peruvian beans and black beans are all good options. Tofu is a good minimally processed. You want to get organic tofu and really with tofu, it's all about how you season and cook it. I have another video on how to make tofu taste good um, that you can check out. And if you can't have soy, then there's something called pumfu and it's like tofu, but it's made out of pumpkin seeds. And you can also make tofu yourself at home out of chickpeas if you need a soy free version. Number four food that you want to include on your kidney protective diet is healthy fats. These are really essential to your diet. Um, While avocados are high in potassium, they're a great nutrient dense food. They're a good source of fiber. And if you limit to a quarter of an avocado, it's still considered low in potassium. As far as nuts and seeds go, some low to moderate potassium options include walnuts, pecans, macadamia nuts, ground flaxseed, chia seeds, and pumpkin seeds. Nut butters are great too. Cashew uh, cashew butter, peanut butter, and sunflower butter are all going to be more moderate potassium. And when you're looking for a nut butter, you want to make sure that the only ingredient is the nut itself or the nut and a little bit of salt. No added sugar or oil. As far as cooking with oil, I usually recommend olive oil for no temperature or low temperature cooking, and then avocado oil for high to medium temp. Avocado oil is not high in potassium. And then excuse me, whole grains. These can be a smaller part of your plate, but they can fit um, into your kidney protective diet. We want to go for, you know, low to moderate potassium, higher fiber options are going to be things like barley, farro, millet, oats, and then even brown rice and wild rice are good options um, that have a little bit of fiber in them. I really want to reiterate that These are not the only foods that you can or should consume, but they are important kidney protective foods that you want to consume. If you do eat meat or animal protein, it's important that you're pairing them with these lower potential renal acid load, higher fiber plant foods that I listed so that you help offset the acid load and the high protein that they provide. You don't have to be 100% plant-based to see benefits, but you do need to be mindful of adding more veggies and fruit, but especially vegetables and swapping some meals with plant protein and then limiting the amount of ultra processed food that is consumed in your diet. 
I have a chronic kidney disease grocery list that you can download for free. I'll put it in the description, but it includes many of these foods in different categories. So when you're shopping at the grocery store, you can look under the fruit section, you can look under the veggie section, and you can pick out some good options that are good for your kidneys and keeping them healthy. So thank you for being here with me and please like, and share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time.